Hi guys, alright, we have made it to another miserable, hot, sweaty, 102, 103 degree day here in South Austin, Texas, July 3rd, 2014. And we are going to teach you how to make the single best cream corn, corn chowder for you Yankees that you have ever put in your mouth in your entire life. So we're going to go through the very simple steps and you will thank me forever and you start out with an ear of fresh corn. I bought 24 ears. It's taken me about two hours or 24 ears. Now normally guys I would recommend Silver Queen. I would recommend a non-GMO all white corn. But you can't have everything. This is your standard issue Standard issue GMO yellow corn. So if you can find white corn, especially silver queen, would be my number one recommendation that would make this even better than it is. So what you do is you take your ears of corn, and this is a messy job. This is a go this stuff goes everywhere. And this is the trick. This was taught to me by Julia May Robertson of Georgia. Julia May Robertson taught me how to do this. So you start with your ear of corn. Trick number one in making this is you go down every single row. You need to get a sharp knife with a sharp point. You go down the middle of every single row of kernels on the ear. Nobody is going to do this but this really brings out the juice. So you go along and you go down to every single row. So I'm just jumping ahead so I pretend we have done that. And then the only pan to use for this job is the cast iron skillet or a little Dutch oven or what have you. So now all of your rows have been sliced down the middle. You put your ear of corn in the middle of the pan and what you aim to do is just cut off the tips as much. You, you don't dig real deep into the into the cob. You want to uh, best you can just slice off the top half. So you got to remember that every kernel has been sliced in half. So this makes a you know a very small. You, you're not looking for those big Yankee full. It's not niblets. You're trying to avoid niblets. You're, you're looking for this consistency. So every single kernel of corn will now have two, will be sliced in half. So when you finish your cutting off the tips, you are going to have something that looks like this. And it would, uh, again, with Silver Queen, it would be nice and white. And you get your cast iron skillet. Take your ear of corn and you just scrape it right against the edge. You use the edge of the pan as the scraper and you press down and pull it towards you and really get all that juice working out of the uh, out of the ear of corn. Flip it over, do the other side and this is, I mean this stuff is flying everywhere and my glasses are falling off my head and so you just get that ear of corn is squeezed out of juice as you possibly can. And here we have, when you get all finished, it's going to look like this and you stir it up. This is two dozen ears of prime GMO yellow corn and do not repeat to all Yankees listening to this do not add sugar. This corn is already too sweet. You need to be using Silver Queen or my mama just used white field corn that they fed the cows. Alright, so uh, and you move over to the stove and we're gonna make a big old pot of this. We got a party of corn eaters coming up so just get your get your stove going now with two dozen ears of corn 
What's that? <laughs> and try not to let the cat eat the corn. Uh, we're going for the full stick of butter. Don't don't use margarine, guys. Come on. Now we should probably actually be using more than a stick of butter for two dozen in the freezer for two dozen corn. But anyway, we're going to start with that. You can always add more butter. Uh, all right, so we got one stick of butter. And you just melt the butter in the pan. Oh yes! And uh, you got the you can you can start out with the heat kind of high. All right, get your butter all melted and hot on the bottom of your cast iron, whatever you call this thing. All right. So you melt the butter, you can bring the camera over here so that it'll look like this on the bottom of the pan. Mm. And we are going to dump this entire, this entire thing. I have been working on this corn for well over two hours. Uh, it will be eaten in about two minutes. This will be inhaled. The cat's going to go check it out. So just stir it up with the butter. And as I say, you can start out on high heat when you start this. And the only ingredients other than that butter, salt, pepper, and half and half. You can use milk but half and half is much better than milk so uh, get your salt in and I pepper this heavily I'm a I am a southern boy so uh, I'm even just gonna open this one up and I make it very peppery and that is it is salt and pepper is uh, salt and pepper and butter and just stir it up there in the butter on kind of your high heat. Oh man, come here and look in our pan here. What is, so at this point, it should be looking like this, and the juicier your corn, the less you want not to be very dependent on the half and half. You want it to be, is obviously the fresher and juicier your corn, the better. So, uh, with 24 ears of this is good juicy corn I'm probably going to use what is this this is a 16 ouncer Ooh. let's say about half so 8 ounces for 24 ears of so anyway you just want to stir it up to like a milkshake consistency mmm and of course, I always, the cook always dips in, so don't, don't watch it. So anyway, taste for salt and pepper. Cats. <laughs> Pretty sweet. The cat's not interested. And there you go. And then you turn it down to a very low heat. And let it get, you know, a soft boil going. And every, uh... So come on in here again. So it'll, get, you know, it'll start bubbling, and but you need to keep it'll stick to the bottom of the pan pretty bad, and so just keep it well stirred. And you want a lid on the top of this. So put it on low heat. Put a tight lid on it, and uh, cook it. I don't know. You can cook it, I would say, about 15 or 20 minutes. You want to cook it, keeping it stirred, making you know, those spice to salt and pepper. And at the end, it will look something like this. I wish I could get you out to smell this. And there you have it. Now, of course, the Silver Queen, it wouldn't be yellow. This is the single best cream corn you have ever eaten in your life. Oh, ma'am. Oh, ma'am. GMOs should never be able to taste so good. And that, guys, is how you do it.
a single best cream corn chowder on the planet right here from South Austin, Texas. Happy 4th of July. Bye guys.